Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So let's just get started here. Okay, guys, so we have the Temperance card on the bottom of the deck. So some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius and we have the High Priestess. So Pisces energy, potentially you could be dealing with the Cancer also. So the High Priestess kind of just confirms that this is someone that you're not speaking to. It could be, uh, you know, symbolic for silent treatment. But with the Temperance, I do see it as someone who wants to, um, they want more balance. They want more harmony uh, between the both of you. Okay, they could also be very focused on like the optimistic side of things like the temperance card could speak about, uh, you know, turning something that feels negative into something positive or just focusing on the positive of a situation, even if you feel defeated, even if you are feeling some sort of sorrow here. So let's start off by seeing how this person is currently viewing you. Okay, the King of Cups wanted to pop out. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're viewing you in the Nine of Cups energy. This is someone who has a lot of love for you. You know, not only are they viewing you as someone who uh, makes them very happy, they're viewing you as a wish fulfillment, like someone that they want to be with, someone that they feel fulfills around. They may even feel like you are like their dream partner. Like you're very, you're, you're perfect in their eyes. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment here and that's how they're viewing you. Um, we have the Ace of Swords followed by the Seven of Wands in the challenge position. Seems to me that it's someone who wants to tell you their truth or they want to come clean about something, but they're also a tad bit defensive with the Seven of Wands. Because Ace of Swords coming out in the challenge position, I don't really see it as a challenge. It's more so like an urgency to speak to you or um, wanting to tell you some sort of truth, wanting to reveal something, right? In hopes that you guys can have a breakthrough um, in this dynamic, but followed by the Seven of Wands. Um, it could be an energy of someone who is feeling, again, a bit defensive or they're wanting to speak to you, but there are certain things that they're not ready to address. Um, Seven of Wands could also be someone who's very like on the fence and, and feeling a bit guarded, not really knowing how to, um, you know, move forward in a situation or trying to figure out their next moves here. The way that you're viewing them, the star card, you may be holding on to some sort of hope or faith that you guys could work things out. Some of you could be dealing with uh, an Aquarius here, but Capricorn, I also see it as um, wanting to heal, you know, whether it's wanting to heal something with this person, whether it's wanting to heal from this connection, uh, the star also speaks about healing here, but it, uh, like I said, it also speaks about, you know, um, having hope or faith that something will work out. So even if it's not about you wanting to reconcile with this person, maybe you just hope that you guys can converse. Maybe you just hope that, um, you know, the last time you spoke to this person is not the last time that it's going, like, or it's not going to be the last time so that you guys can actually get something off your chest here. We have the King of Cups in your feelings <clears throat> and the Five of Pentacles. When it comes to your emotions, you're keeping a lot to yourself here. Because you do have a lot of emotions for this person, but you know, the King of Cups is a very emotionally balanced energy. So for many of you, you're like, yes, I'm thinking of this person. <clears throat> yes, I am missing them with the Five of Pentacles, but it's almost like you don't want to reveal that or you feel like you have to be very balanced. So whether it's about, if it's not about like revealing how you feel to this person, maybe it's just about uh, being balanced for your own, you know, um, emotional well-being and, and mental health here. It could be like, you're like, okay, when I think about this person or think about my emotions, I feel drained. So yes, I will accept the fact that I still feel deeply for this person, but I'm not going to, you know, solely just focus on this connection because again, it, it may be something that makes you feel very overwhelmed. And with the five of pentacles, guys, I will say like, um, there is an energy of missing, there's an energy of longing, but something about the situation, you feel like it lacks stability. 
So whether it's, you know, in the past, you feel like um, there were some sort of financial constraints, or if it's not about finances, it could quite literally just be about the structure of the bond, right? Feeling like, well, you know, this person's not meeting me halfway, or there's something here about the stability making you feel very uneasy. Even if it's like you felt things were stable until they were not, or when you think of this person or the situation, you feel like it's, it's kind of like a temporary stability. Six of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Some of you are really feeling an urge to speak to this person with that Knight of Swords in your feelings, I will say that. Um, but with the Six of Cups, not only are you missing them, this week you may find that you're feeling very nostalgic. Um, you know, this could be you being reminded of the memories that you guys have together, or you kind of just wishing that things felt a lot, uh, you know, easier than they currently do. But it's interesting because the Knight of Swords could be like speedy communication, so you could be on the receiving end of this, or like I mentioned, for some of you, you really do have an urgency to speak to this person. Like maybe you just want to converse. Maybe there's something that you're feeling, something that you're thinking about that you want to tell this person. The Ace of Swords is being clarified by the Chariot, okay, and the Queen of Cups, clarifying the Seven of Wands. So now we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So the both of you are still feeling very connected to each other, but it's like this very defensive energy with that Seven of Wands. Whether this is a power battle, Capricorn, whether this is an energy of I don't want to be the you know first one to reach out, or it could be someone who genuinely wants to speak to you, but there are certain things that they don't want to address. So like wanting to come forward, but also having certain things that they want to sweep under the rug. With the Chariot clarifying the Ace of Swords, that does speak about forward movement, that speaks about progress, um, that even speaks about something picking up the pace, uh, um, you know, much, um, much after like a, like a stalemate or, or things moving um, much more quickly than you anticipated is what I'm getting at here. So you may find that if this person reaches out to you, first of all, that could be very unexpected. But the second thing is things could be moving very quickly between the both of you. It seems that if there were a conversation to take place or uh, you guys have the opportunity to reveal how you feel or reveal some sort of truth, um, this person feels like things would just take off between the both of you. So for many of you, I know it is a no contact spread, but it's kind of a very straightforward message that the fact that you guys are not communicating is what is causing some sort of a defensive or guarded energy. Because it's almost like your person is jumping to some sort of conclusions or assumptions because they're not really sure where you stand, right? And that's because you guys are not speaking. So they, they're kind of guessing or they're kind of um, assuming, like I said, you know, how you feel. We have the Ten of Pentacles in their feelings. Wow. And the Page of Cups. Yeah. This is someone who has a deep desire for you. They just know that there's something they want to reveal to you. This could be their feelings. This could be, um, you know, clearing up something that has occurred in the past. This could just be letting you know that they want to be more open with you. Seven of Wands could be someone who's very slow to open up. So you may have found that, you know, during the course of the bond here, um, you know, this person, of course, like maybe you were willing to be patient with them, but you also felt like they would not let their guard down. You know, someone who was uh, not being open with you, maybe they would not, uh, you know, communicate with you clearly, and that could have really affected the bond that you guys had. But with the Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Cups and their feelings, they want a commitment with you, but this seems to be like taking baby steps towards the commitment. The Ten of Pentacles is not something that happens overnight. And the Page of Cups is not a large offer, but it has the potential to, um, you know, turn into something larger. I also see, um, you know, with the Page of Cups, this person could kind of be wondering, like, is wanting a commitment far-fetched or is this all in my mind? Because in traditional tarot, there's a fish in his cup there, the Page of Cups, and uh, the fish is symbolic for imagination. So this person may be wondering kind of like, is it all in my mind or is this something that is actually, um, you know, in my reach where I can be in a commitment with Capricorn? And they're thinking about a higher level of commitment with that Ten of Pentacles in their energy. Queen of Wands, the Empress, wow. Very, very attracted to you, I do see that. Um, but with the Empress, this could also be someone who wants to, you know, build a family with you. They're viewing you as the entire package. What's interesting to me is we have the King of Cups and Queen of Cups, but then we have the Queen of Wands and the Empress.
there is a level of attraction here, but maybe in the past there was some sort of like a decision to be made. Or if it was someone who was non-committal, now they're wanting a commitment. Like there's definitely a change of mind that they're having here. Three of Cups. Because oh. I was like, why, why do we have the King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, Empress, Three of Cups? So as many of you know, the Three of Cups and Queen of Wands could definitely be some sort of an interference here. Um, so like I said, they could have had a choice to make between two people. Um, for some of you, this person may have children elsewhere, like they may have children with someone else. So that may be their responsibility, but they're feeling connected to you. So it could be that they had the decision to, you know, take care of their responsibilities, but be in a commitment with you. For others of you, you know, 10 of pentacles, three of cups, queen of wands could be someone who's in a commitment elsewhere, but they feel connected to you and they're thinking of you. So take it how it resonates here, guys, but Three of Cups doesn't always have to be, um, you know, a third party interference in terms of another person. It could be someone who, like I said, I've given you guys the example of, you know, maybe a non-committal individual or someone who, um, you know, is wanting to like have their cake and eat it too. There's definitely a decision here that they have to make. Um, but I do see it as someone who's very focused on you. Emotionally, they feel very connected to you. But when it comes to the 3D, they may feel like there's some sort of responsibilities or that they have to take care of where they feel entitled to another situation. And it makes sense because I did say with the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands, this person wants to um, come clean, not come clean about something. It's more so like tell you their truth. But I did say because it's coming out with the Seven of Wands, there's something they're defensive about. So it may be the fact that you know they're committed elsewhere, or it may be the fact that they don't want to talk about being indecisive in the past. Because it's kind of a like the, the energy that's coming through is a little bit contradicting. It's like wanting to be open with you, but not feeling ready to speak about everything. Another queen, okay, queen of pentacles, eight of swords, yeah. I do see it as someone who's very stuck on you. You know, we do have the queen of pentacles here, so it is um, your energy, but with the eight of swords, that's more so like feeling very mentally stuck. This could be like limiting beliefs, restricting thoughts. I also see it as someone who feels like, like this week they could think they could be thinking about you very heavily. So, uh, you know, they're, this week could be of significance to this relationship here, or I'm just picking up on an energy of someone who just can't seem to get you off their mind. You know what this person is wondering? It's almost like they feel they have got their self into some sort of a web that is so difficult to get out of, and they're not impressed with their actions, and it's causing them to feel very stuck. It is someone who is feeling connected to you, Capricorn. It is someone who is thinking of you, but they feel so restricted. And for some of you, it's quite literally because they feel like they shouldn't be trying to pursue you without ending something else. Or it could be a case of self-sabotage. But, you know, just being transparent, we do have uh, three three queens here, yeah, including the Empress as well. So it could be that they, they're feeling connected to you, but they're not really making a choice because there's something else that they need to release. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Knight of Wands, Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords. Wow. They feel like they were very in and out with you, Capricorn. They feel like they were very fickle. They're not pleased with the way that they have treated you. Ten of Swords clarifying the Eight of Swords is someone where they're in their mind or their thoughts, uh, like what's going on is like, it's almost like they feel like things are over and they're trying not to accept it, but that's the reality of it. Like Eight of Swords and Ten of Swords, guys, it could be a tough energy because it's like when you feel stuck, but you also feel like you need to let something go. And I know that's a little bit of a tough message to hear, guys, but I don't want to, you know, guide you in the wrong way or just tell you what you want to hear. Eight of Swords and Ten of Swords is someone who could be like, feeling stuck yes and they're thinking of you but ten of swords is like okay this is a painful ending but i need to accept it because they feel like they don't know what to do that's what's coming out in the potential outcome they don't know what to do they don't know which direction to choose like they're focused on you and i don't think it's about which direction to choose they just feel restricted which means either you know not making a decision is making it um is making a decision depending on your perspective or it's like knowing that okay there's only one way to go about this and i have to you know uh release this or like they feel very i guess the best word is like stuck uh stagnant restricted they don't feel like they have many options and with the ten of swords it's like feeling defeated powerless and as much as they feel connected to you they feel like they have to let it go and with the knight of wands clarifying the queen of pentacles it's like they feel like their behavior towards you was not fair 
And even in the potential outcome, if this person comes towards you, it, yeah, they may come with a lot of excitement and you, you know, if you're looking forward to just hearing from this person, you may be pleased. But if you're looking for a commitment, I feel like this person is still stuck in another situation or they, they're wanting to connect with you, but they're not ready to make a firm decision about releasing something else. Like they feel a lot of passion towards you. They even feel an urgency to communicate with you. But the reasoning behind it is like, yes, they feel connected to you, but they're still not making a decision. So it kind of just depends what you're looking for or what you're uh, willing to tolerate here, Capricorn. Because Knight of Wands could be, you know, unexpected communication, someone rushing in, but you will notice that their behavior is still inconsistent. And that's because their attention is still, uh, you know, uh, like they're still spreading their self too thin. It's not like they're solely focused on one person here. And again, guys, like even if they're connected elsewhere, but it's not necessarily through, um, oh, wow, interesting, eight of wands on the bottom of the deck. So you definitely could receive communication from them. But even if they're not connected to someone through like, um, like emotionally, but it's more so finances, I just see it as eight of swords is like being stuck in a situation. Like you're thinking about what to do, but it's not really solution oriented because you're not doing much about it. This person may also be up in their mind about making a change or letting go of, for example, if it is another person in this situation, they could be afraid of letting go of that particular person or that, uh, you know, situation um, because moving forward, they don't know what is going to occur between the both of you. I see it as someone who still wants to speak to you, like they still want to connect with you, but they're not really making a decision. I think that the situation will remain stuck. So even if they communicate with you it's not really like a, a change is not really being made the only change is them reaching out or breaking the silence does that make sense okay so let's see um what they want to communicate to you split the deck we have i regret lying to you It's like they can't stay away from you, but they're also not making a decision. And they know that it's not fair. They're not making a decision, but it's like this temptation that they have. That's the best way for me to explain it. We need to let each other go. This is what I said, guys, with the um, Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Like someone who's like having a hard time accepting an ending, but they also feel like things are over. Like, why do I keep thinking of Capricorn? Why do I keep, um, you know, wanting to like reach out to them? It says, I left you before you could leave me. So definitely could have been a case of self-sabotage. I feel you leaving me behind. So this person could possibly tell that, you know, their true colors have been revealed and you're, you know, very fixated on moving on. Like, I do feel you miss this person in your feelings, but there's also an energy of you feeling like they're not being, like you're still feeling a bit defensive towards them because you feel like they're not being all the way truthful. I am not available. Yeah, this is a very specific message, guys. I think some of you may have connected with someone who was in a commitment, whether, you know, you were aware of this, um, you know, prior to it. Maybe they told you they were, they recently, uh, you know, went through a breakup or they're in the process of going through a breakup, but it seems to be someone who feels guilty for wanting you or they feel tempted by you, but they know they shouldn't. They can't help their feelings, but that's kind of what I'm getting here. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Okay. So my wonderful Capricorns, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.